Hello friends, hope you are doing well. In this video, I am going to share my recent interview experience with ONGC MRPL, Mangalur Refinery and Petrochemicals Limited. There was only one vacancy for metallurgy student and my interview date was August 6th, 2022. The interview panel consists of seven members, out of them six male and one female interviewer. The first question is, as expected, introduce yourself. Friends, the next one is the role of a metallurgist in an oil refinery. You being a metallurgist, what can you do for the company? How can you be an asset to the company? So friends, while explaining this, I mentioned pipelines and the corrosion protection. Friends, from here on, if you consider almost 80% questions are based on corrosion because that is the role of a metallurgy person in an oil refinery. Next question is, what are the possible corrosion forms that occur in pipelines? How do you protect pipelines? Here I explained about uh, cathodic anodic protection, sacrificial anode and impressed current methods. And while I mentioned the different coatings that we use and I mentioned anodizing and blowing these different processes. But then ma'am asked what is the composition of the coating that is used inside the pipelines to protect it from the chemicals. Next question is, is ammonia good or bad for corrosion? Does it help in corrosion protection or does it cause more corrosion? To have less corrosion, which atmosphere would you choose? Acidic or basic? Friends, the next question is, steel is in concentrated H2SO4 and dilute H2SO4. Where do you think the corrosion is more? Friends, here the answer is dilute H2SO4. Dilute H2SO4, the corrosion is more and compared to the concentrated H2SO4. So I want you to answer this. Why? Why is this so in our telegram group? Friends, another corrosion question. 1000 ppm of chloride ion is in the water. And now you have all these three materials to select for that application. You have brass, you have stainless steel and you have plain carbon steels. Now the question is, arrange these three metals in the preference. Which one will undergo less corrosion? So you need to arrange them according to their corrosion rate. I want you to answer this question as well in our metallurgy crisp telegram group. Either it is 1, 2, 3, 3, 2, 1 or whatever the order is. Next question is, what are stainless steels explain? Why do they have the stainless property? And then what is the exact composition of arsenic stainless steel? What is the chromium? What is the nickel and remaining? And next question is, what are duplex stainless steels? And what are the specialities regarding duplex stainless steels? Next is, discuss about non-ferrous metals. What do you know about these metals? And explain. And the next is, what is brass? And what is bronze? Next is, uh, the similarities and differences between the roasting and calcination. What products are removed in roasting? What products are removed in calcination? And up to what temperature do we need to heat to have roasting or calcination? Next is draw iron carbon phase diagram and mark all the points eutectic, eutectoid, peritectic and all critical temperatures. Next, what is the use of a phase diagram? What are all the advantages? So, friends, next they move on to the internship. What did you do in your internship and where did you do it? Friends, I did an internship at Jindal Steel Plant, Raigar. So they asked, what are the solutions did you offer them in the end after completing the internship? Friends, in the end, they asked some HR questions. Now the first one is, is it your first time in Mangalore? And how is your experience? How did you like the city? Do you want to go for higher studies? At this question, they mentioned that nobody from Andhra are with us now. Just like them, are you going to leave the company if selected next tell us about your family who are all there in your family and what do they do then they asked what are all the interviews that you have atten attended until now and they asked about did you apply for iocl in the next question they asked friends uh, individual brilliance or the teamwork which one do you prefer which one do you believe in in the end they asked if the committee decides to select you how much time would you need to join MRPL. Friends, these are all the questions that I remember from the recent interview. If I re recollect any more questions, I will update them in our telegram group. I request everyone to join our Metallurgy Crisp telegram group and feel free to share any queries, any doubts regarding Metallurgy. And friends, along with this channel, I am thinking of starting group discussions and personal interviews for our Metallurgy students. And I want you to comment in the comment section how many of you are interested in doing this group discussions and personal interviews. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.